welcome back to my channel welcome back to vlogmas week number three so today is actually sunday and i've left it quite late in the week to start the vlog actually i've had a few days off work but i haven't really done much i've just kind of chilled out tried to get ready for christmas i can't believe that this time next week this time next week will be boxing day wow that's crazy. That doesn't feel real. I don't know if that feels real to anybody else, but definitely not to me this year. I'm still not really feeling very festive, but there's still time. We've still got a week left. So today's Sunday. I haven't really done anything for the last few days. I went to... We went out... Me and my auntie went out for breakfast. We went to a really cute garden centre near us. Um, and then we went Christmas shopping in Chelmsford, but I didn't really get anything. I just kind of brought myself some things, which is just great. And then I went to town with my best friend and we did some shopping. It was literally crazy, like so hectic. I was so stressed, but I did manage to get some presents and then I came home and ordered a load. So at least that's done. I've still got so much wrapping to do, which I'm putting off, but I really need to do that. And what else did I do? I went out for a few drinks with my friend, which was really fun. We got very drunk very very drunk i don't know what's happening to me this month i just can't hold my drink like can't handle my drink i'm just a lightweight now i'm just a bit old i feel like i'm too old for this but that was really fun we actually had a really good night um and me and tom had a date night this week we went to our favorite restaurant we went to noodle bar we went to the cinema to see the new spider-man and that was so good honestly i said to tom earlier i would actually go and see it again like i'm not a massive marvel I never really got into Marvel when I was younger, and I don't really know why, but I honestly love all the films now. This Spider-Man was so good. I was literally, like, full-on crying in the cinema and laughing. It was so funny. So I definitely recommend you go and check that out if you haven't watched it already. Even if you're not a Marvel fan, like, maybe you might not understand it as much if you haven't seen Spider-Man films, so maybe watch them before you go. But it was really, really good, and I really enjoyed it. But, yeah. Hi, Ralphie. Come look. Come say hi. Do you mind? Don't show everyone your bits. Can you move? <laughs> Bravo. So yeah, it's Sunday night. <laughs> Hello. I know what you want, but it's not time yet. You're too early. Okay, Ralph just rudely interrupted me and I had to give him his dinner even though it's not for another 20 minutes cheeky boy so it's Sunday night we haven't really done anything today me and Tom went out and had lunch at a really cute pub which I'll insert some clips of now because it was so cute and then tonight we're not really doing much we're just gonna chill out we've got hello fresh to cook for dinner which will be really cute I love hello fresh so yummy and I thought I would, I was going to make a video that's like what's new in my wardrobe because I've got some really cute new pieces of clothing recently but I feel like I haven't really got enough to make a whole video so I thought it'd be really nice to just do it at the start of this video so I'm going to quickly run through some things which I have picked up recently which I really love. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you is this white bag from Ego, which I did actually mention in one of my gift guide videos so I'll link that somewhere on screen if you still need to try and get some last minute presents because actually no this video will be out this video will be out after christmas so if you've got christmas money to spend on yourself you should buy this bag so this is from ego and it's literally a dupe of the balenciaga bag like i love it so much it comes with this little pouch and then this little mirror which is so cute i literally love it i've never seen a bag like it other than the balenciaga bag but such a such a good dupe this was 35 pounds in the black friday sale but i'm pretty sure they have a discount on all the time so you can get this they do it in loads of colors i actually got it in green as well which I haven't taken out the bag yet because i'm not sure i'm gonna wear it i might return it i just i don't know i really want a green bag but i don't know whether to just wait and find a different style now that i have this one and i've literally used this one so much since i brought it it's actually really spacious inside i've got so much rubbish in there but i really love it it's got this little shoulder strap i think it's such a good buy it feels really good quality and considering it was 35 pounds instead of like i think the balenciaga one is a thousand pounds so I would definitely buy this. If I could afford to buy the Balenciaga one, I definitely would though. And I have this really cute jumper dress from H&M, which I wore in last week's Vlogmas. And I said I was going to show you, which I am now. So here it is. It's so cute. It's a ribbed, like, mini dress, jumper dress. 
from H&M. It was, I think, £32. I got it in a size small one. I think it fits really nicely. I wear it with just some knee-high boots. Or you could even wear it with some tights or leggings or something like that. But I really like to wear it without. But, yeah, I really love it. It's really good quality. H&M knitwear is just unbeatable i really love h&m knitwear so i think this is really cute and i have worn it so many times this year already so it's definitely definitely a staple definitely an essential i'm so glad i brought it i'm so glad i actually found it so if it's still on the website i'll link it down below then i have this absolutely stunning top now i got this a while ago and i don't know whether or not it's going to be on the website still it's from misguided but i'll link it if i can excuse me and my new look hangers it's from where i used to work there and i used to steal them all but it's this really cute top. Oh, I just love it so much. It's like a brown champagne kind of colour. And it's got all this fluff here. It's a corset top. It's got really lovely structure detail. And then this is the back. Just a zip on there. I got it in a size 8. Which I'm surprised that they must have not had a size 10 in stock. But I literally love this so much. I can't remember how much it was either. But I will link it down below if I can find it. I'm going to wear this... On Tuesday, I'm going out for drinks with my friends. Um, obviously, the Tuesday before Christmas. So, I'm going to wear this. So, with some jeans, I think. But I'll show you. I'll probably vlog that day as well. So, I'll show you what I choose to wear it with. But I literally love this so much. I've been saving it for our little drinks. Because I know that it was really cute and dressy. So, I'm really excited to wear that. And then, last but not least, I have my new coat from Pretty Lavish. And I absolutely love it so much. I need to grab it one second. Excuse me, sitting on the floor in my bedroom. But this is my new coat from Pretty Lavish. I literally don't even know what this material is called, which is really bad. Shearling? Is that the right one? My brother told me I look like a sheep. So, it's that kind of material. But it's this really long, maxi trench coat kind of a trench coat style it's got a tie waist i literally love it so much fun story about this i've actually had to wash it already since i've brought it because i spilled hot chocolate all down it which was great and the first time i wore it i drove all the way home from work on an a road with this hanging out of my car so this got dirty as well which was just great but it came out really well i got it in a size small i got it in the black friday sale so it was around 70 pounds i actually brought it to wear to paris on my paris trip which has just been cancelled which it's a really sensitive subject so the paris vlogs are no more they are not coming anytime soon i really don't feel like hopefully i'll have a holiday vlog at some point because it's literally been a whole year since i started my youtube channel soon and i haven't been able to go on holiday which is just amazing but let's not dwell on that there will be a holiday vlog soon i'm gonna plan something really cute for my friend to do instead of our Paris trip, so that will be a really cute video. I've already told her I'm making a video out of it and she literally hates me, but that'll be really fun. So subscribe to check out this fun video that you don't know about yet. I promise it's gonna be great. But yeah, that's all the things that I've kind of brought recently and I really loved and I wanted to show you all because they're literally so cute and definitely some really cute things to wear over this time of year. But I'm going to go and sit in the front room now. Me and Tom are literally just going to chill out on the sofa. I might wrap some Christmas presents. I really want to paint my nails. My nails are literally so bad. I really want to gel my nails red for Christmas. I'm hoping if I do them myself, then they'll last until Christmas. Probably won't, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll wrap some presents. I need to order some more presents and... That's it for tonight, really. Tomorrow, me, Tom, and I think my brother are going to go to London. We're going to go to some Christmas markets, which I'm so excited for. We're not going to go to Winter Wonderland because we're 100% not prepared for that, but just some Christmas markets in London. So I'll bring you along and, yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs>
supermarkets were definitely nothing to rave about. We didn't even look at any of them. There was actually nothing there. We decided not to go and look at any more Christmas markets. We went to the new Bond Street because I really wanted to look at all the Christmas shops. All of the like designer Christmas decorations. That was really cute. I've got some clips from that so I'll put them in here. We just got a Starbucks and I think we're going to make our way back soon because there isn't really a lot to do. And I decided to get the Christmas fudge brownie hot chocolate which I'm going to try. I'm really excited to try this but I'm actually going to ban myself. Wow. Try this drink. That's a good hot chocolate. No? It's like really, really chocolatey. I really like this. It's really nice. But we're going to make our way back soon. It's getting quite dark, quite cold now. But yeah, it's been a cute day.